Hello from the Blue Bonnet Brew Off competition. We are showing you a video today about the login process at the world's largest single site homebrew competition. So we have been recorded at over 1800 entries. This year was right around 1400 and you can see what it takes to unpack, double blind and process these for future judging. It's a lot of work and hopefully from what you can see in this video, uh, it'll make you a better packager of your beers for all competitions. Uh, and maybe get you a little bit of understanding of the world that is the Blue Bonnet Brew Off. Step one, we remove beer from its packaging, separate the beers from whatever protection they have, give, make sure the entry form labels are on and that they match the beer entry form, and then once all these things are matched, we're able to take them to the initial QA, QC. Once matched, the beers can be taken over to our initial assembly line table. You can see a little wait here as people are stepping up and placing the beers for QAQC. And there will be an initial check by Nigel here, making sure that the beers match the entry form. Three, we are able to put our beer subcategory labels using sticker numbers on the top of the beer cap. The bottles have their labels. They can now move on to be double blinded, but you can see there are instances and issues where we have log jams. You will see that I'll speed this video up to about five times to cut out several minutes of this video and you'll get to watch the beer track through quickly. Step four, we will be blind labeling, so Stuart will explain. I'd narrate if you want, it's all good. Otherwise, I gotta go over top of it, so. It puts the stickers so, on the bottle. I have random numbered stickers, and I put them on each bottle, and then one on the piece of paper, and you're done. Sweet. So 56, that's the magic number that I'm following through here. So you're about to grab that set of bottles right there. Perfect. So those T56s, they have yep. their uh, entry labels that are on the bottle that are telling us what they are prior to getting to this point. Mm -hmm. And we are now making it where those don't exist anymore. Yes. Exactly. Pass them over <laughs> for final inspection. QA, QC. <laughs> Step five, final QC, label removal. And now you're checking to make sure that they have all the same numbers. Checking uh, table numbers, checking next to table number, or entry number here, and then double checking everything. Perfect. All right, and now you are doing final check, and so you are the destroyer. After the beers have their labels removed, you can see the stack of entry forms that is headed to data. So the labels go away, and everything is blinded. Now we're awaiting distribution. The runners are going to place them into our case boxes. Mm -hmm. 
see they're not running very fast. One bottle, two bottles, three bottles. So eventually that's going directly behind me to right here. I'm going to wait for the actual runner to get them. All right. You're taking my bottles. We're following these all the way through, so the camera is just watching what you're doing. This wouldn't be a good time to drop it then, would it? Uh, it would be uh, pretty much quid pro quo. All right, they have found their home. So these are our boxes. This is the table that they'll be going to. You've got case box A, case box B, case box C. Okay, so you just watched the beer go through the assembly line. It's done getting packaged into our boxes. We can now judge it. We have to get it to its judging location. We have to get it to a refrigeration unit. Then we have to get it from that refrigeration unit using a steward and a head judge to the set of judges that it takes to judge your beer. There is a lot more that goes into the actual full event. So you're seeing just this bits and pieces right now of what it takes to log your beer in. But that's what we got.